Hello, guys. Hello, world. Hello, content creators outside the U.S. Welcome to my channel. As you know, or might not know yet. Oopsie. Starting June 2021, Giga Loan YouTube will start making deductions and earnings of content creators outside of the U.S. if they are generated from viewers within the country. The deadline was on 31st May, so if you happen to know it's just now, please follow me until the end of the video for you to be able to complete it today. Otherwise, by your next cash out, you'll face a deduction of 24% for your total earnings worldwide. With that having said, today I am going to show you how to submit relevant tax information so that YouTube can determine the correct amount of tax to be deducted from your earnings, which are from ad views, YouTube premium, Super Chat, Super Stickers, and Channel Memberships. Zero to thirty percent will be deducted from your monthly U.S. earnings. Fifteen percent deduction to those who submit tax information and claim a treaty benefit from the U.S. viewers. While thirty percent deduction from those who are not eligible for tax treaty benefits from the U.S. viewers. Start by typing in www.kikol.com slash adsense it will open directly to whatever giggle account is on and then you can change the email address that is associated with your youtube channel and then from here since i'm browsing from the phone you can choose the desktop site for you to be able to view a more friendly page and I've got this notifications that I just newly opened and uh, yeah it says here about manage tax information YouTube analytics you can choose from here manage tax info or from here right yeah, select manage tax info and then this page will appear it says here to get payouts from Google make sure to provide your tax information this will take a few minutes so you have to click on that add tax info and it will direct you to this page and uh, you have to select which email address you want to use and it will ask for password and then continue and then we'll, it will direct you to this page it says what type of account is the one that is open is it individual a non-individual entity so here we'll choose individual and then you proceed to next and then are you a citizen or a resident of the United States as for me I'll say no as I reside in the UAE you know in any other country to aside from the US and you say next and then there are two options so we will select the first one. This form is most commonly used by non-US individuals and would also be used to claim tax treaty. Next, it will prompt this page where it will ask for your name. You have to type in your name and then the DBA doing business as, you have to leave it as it is. Don't fill it up. And then, And then I will ask you for your country where you would have to choose your country where you reside in. As for my case, I'm from the UAE, you can choose from the Philippines or any other kind or any other countries listed here. Oops, I can't find mine. There you go. No, not the UK. Yep. So you know our Emirates. And it says foreign T I N T I N. 
it's called taxpayer identification number and we'll leave it as it is because we don't have the TIN here in the UIE so we'll leave it as blank and I'll press next and I will ask for your address over here there are two types of address one is permanent residence address and the other one is the mailing address actually I was quite confused between these two this is a permanent one I was thinking like since UAE is not my permanent country so I was confused whether I fill this up or use this mailing address here but then I figured that because if I press this permanent residence address I would need to require to submit additional documentation which is I think is kind of difficult to obtain from another country so I decided to make my current address as my permanent residence address which is the UAE me my mailing address is the same as my permanent residence address so I have to just fill it up once because it will be the same then press next then it will come to this page yep it will list my address and then are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty I would say no because we don't have treaty with uh, the US I have to have to say no however as for you you have to check the current country that you're residing in whether they have a tax treaty with the US and if so you have to say yes and then next here it says that I confirm that I have reviewed the generated tax documentation to the best of my knowledge and belief so you have to click on it and I will just show you the example of the page that I filled up in so this is it with your name address some other stuff that is not required it, over here is sign here it says so you don't have to sign in there in that form because it will that page will here over here you will have to sign from here your full legal name which is the name in your you know Emirates ID or your passport or whatever is that legal documentation that you are having so you have to make sure that it is your full name full legal name and as mentioned here are you the person listed in the signature act section yes I am the person listed in the signature section and completing this form on my own behalf and if you aren't so you have to click on the second one and then yeah has the individual or entity identified the tax section for from any activity service from Google with the US no yep and then I certify you have to check on that are you providing tax info for a new or existing payment so I have to choose uh, the first one because I am pro providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payments yep I haven't received payments yet so I have to click on that and then I have to choose submit I have to click on submit and now uh, it will direct you to this form which it says status approved so it is approved already and then after that you will receive an email regarding your application over here you will receive an email confirming that you have been approved so guys I hope that it is clear for you 
and I hope that you'll be doing it right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.